Cereal is one of those things that we all have in common. We all like cereal. Everyone likes cereal. Whether you drink it with cow milk, almond milk, whatever milk, there is a fact that it is a part of your balanced breakfast, which is it's a phrase that they use specifically so they didn't have to say, cereal is all you need for breakfast. No, they use that as a way to say, oh look, cereal is a bunch of sugar that if you eat along with everything else on this table is a part of your balanced breakfast. Those people suck. That being said, we all still like cereal, right? Right? It's a thing. This is American cereals. I don't know how much overlap there is with Canadian cereals, but we're going to find this out together and rank which one is the best, which one is the worst, and which one is Lucky Charms. All right, so we start with Apple Jacks. Apple Jacks is just a less fancy version of Fruit Loops. Is it bad? No. Is it great? No. I don't know why the Apple Jacks themselves are colored two different colors when I'm just like, it's the same flavor. Both of this is Apple Jacks. There is no difference between the two colors. Why does this exist? Why is this the most heated I've been in a while? Because cereal is important. It's a part of this balanced breakfast. So, you know, enjoy it. What cereal did I have this morning? None. I should probably have cereal soon. But anyways, moving on to Cheerios. Cheerios is a classic. Is it good? No. No. It's the thing you have when there's nothing else. Is it the worst? No. Because you can make necklaces out of them. And if that's not a good reason to have Cheerios around, I don't know what is. Uh, is it a good flavor? No. It's very plain. Is it bad? No. But, you know, for a perfectly serviceable, this is grains in a bowl, it is grains in a bowl. So, moving forward. Chex. Chex is great. I remember really liking Chex. I only got it a few times, but it was definitely one of those ones that was just like, this is delicious. This is great. Everyone likes Chex. Actually, I assume most people like... Between Chex and Life, you know, they're both pretty solid. So I don't... I'm not going to complain about either one of those being a part of things. Cocoa Puffs. Are Cocoa Puffs good? N no. No, they're not. I hate that fake chocolate flavor. I don't think... I don't like it. I don't think that it's good in... Pebbles, I don't think it's good in any form I have had it in. Is chocolate, is that fake chocolate any good? No. Does anyone enjoy that fake chocolate? No. So, you can take those Cocoa Puffs and put them in the box or just don't buy them in the first place because why would you? Cocoa Puffs are terrible. Cookie Crisps, however, are also terrible. They taste like sawdust. That's not what I want when I have my cookies for breakfast. They taste like salt. Why am I looking at this through an adult lens? At the time, cookie crisps were fantastic. I will admit that. But are they good? No. No, they are not good. They are are they terrible? No. But we're not talking about that right now. We're talking about practical flavors. Would I like to have cookie crisps? I mean, I guess, but you know, it's not something I think I'm going to have to worry about anytime soon. Corn Pops, however, have stood up for me. I still enjoy Corn Pops to this day. I think they are very good. Are they overly sweet? Yes. But are they still tasty? Yes. I can't deny that. I think that they are fun. They are, they are light. They are a good flavor. And overall, that's what you want. French Toast Crunch is fine. Does it taste a bit like sawdust? Yes, but at least it also tastes like maple. It's like maple sawdust. And as long as you have that, that's that's good enough. So I do see three here that I'm just going to get knock out of the way earlier. Uh, Special K, the chocolatey delight. It's like combining a plain cereal with this gross chocolatey flavor. Not for me. Red berries made entirely of sugar. Not for me. I think that the, oh my gosh, what did it just taste like dried strawberries and not even like good dried strawberries? And just like, this is fake dried strawberries. Why does this exist? What kind of hate crime have we committed that this exists in a package? No, don't get the Special K. However, regular Special K is fine. You know, it's like a plain frosted flake. So for what it is, you know, it's special. It's special. But what about regular Frosted Flakes? Frosted Flakes, regular, would sit strongly in the B section. Are they bad? No. Are they great? Also no. But are they bad? No. 
So, take that as a win, I guess? I don't know. I don't know anymore. It's cereal. It's cereal. Don't be serious. Uh, Fruit Loops. Fruit Loops are fine. I've never had any complaints with them. There is the Mandela Syndrome where you think Fruit Loops is actually spelled F-R-U-I-T, but it's no, it's always been spelled Fruit Loops with all O's, specifically so they didn't have to call it fruit. And that whole follow your nose campaign was built off of the idea that, oh, these are super fragrant, they're super fragrantful. So, you know, enjoy them for what they are. But then you realize it's just sugar. It's just sugar. This is Apple Jacks, but with more varieties, but they all still taste the same. It's the colors you taste. Anyways, moving on. Fruity Pebbles. Are Fruity Pebbles, they don't have tricks. I just realized they don't have tricks here. How can you compare cereals without tricks? Easily. Uh, moving on. Fruity Pebbles are not great, but they're not, like, they're not styrofoam, I don't think. Maybe they are. Am I just questioning my life right now? Maybe. Maybe. I'm probably doing that. But let's see what comes up next. Grape Nuts. Grape Nuts are neither grapes, nor nuts, nor good. They still taste like little rocks. Little, plain, dirty, filthy rocks. So, for what that's worth... Take that. Uh, honeycomb. I would put that in the middle. Man, I'm waiting way too hard on cereal, aren't I? Uh, honeycomb is fine, I guess. Definitely overly sweet, but it's kid cereal. No one's gonna care how sweet it is. Um, yeah, honeycomb's fine. It's like a less sophisticated version of corn pops, which isn't great. Honey Nut Cheerios. I will stand Honey Nut Cheerios for probably ever. Are they great? Yes. Yes, they are. It's, it's, it's everything that Cheerios wants to be when it grows up, but also the opposite of that because Honey Nut Cheerios is the opposite of the plain Cheerios, which just makes things better. Kix. Kix was fine. I have no issue with Kix. I'll put it just in front of Fruity Pebbles because at least like it pretends to be healthy. Same with Life. Life also kind of straddles that line. So, you know what, I'm gonna actually put life up with, you know, just in front of Apple Jacks. I would say that it's a fine cereal. On a scale of one to 10, it's on the scale, so we're good. Uh, Lucky Charms, everyone thinks you like Lucky Charms. Or you just like the marshmallows. I remember I wasn't allowed to eat Lucky Charms for years because luck was from Lucifer. And so growing up in like a super Christian household, we couldn't have Lucky Charms because that was like, it was like satanic cereal. True story, this is, this is the thing. But, is Lucky Charms good? No. You think it's good, but it's not. It's plain, styrofoamy type sugar pellets, and then sugar pellet marshmallows that don't taste good, even when they are wet. Don't get Lucky Charms. You think you want them, but you don't. It's not worth it. Will I eat Lucky Charms in the future? Probably. But, will I like it? Maybe. But... You know, that's the thing. It's lucky. It's nostalgia. You're not eating these for any reason other than you're curious as to what they taste like as an adult. And the answer is terrible. Your tastes have changed. You don't like this stuff anymore. Otherwise, you'd keep getting it. Okay. Anyways, mini wheats. Uh, it's mini. It's weedy. It's fine. Frosted mini wheats. You know what? They get a, that little bit of a pass because at least then it's frosted. I still like frosted mini wheats. I'll eat them. But you know, as long as it's not grape nuts. Raisin Bran. Okay. You know how old you are based off of how much you enjoy Raisin Bran. Do I love Raisin Bran? No. Do I respect Raisin Bran? I do. I do. So I would put Raisin Bran right under Fruit Loops because I'm boring and I like having raisins in my cereal apparently. Will I eat it all the time? Absolutely not. Will I eat it once in a while? Yes. So, you know, they got me. I don't know what to say. I'm old though. I like Raisin Bran. Rice Krispies. Rice Krispies is fantastic. I think everyone enjoys Rice Krispies. Not, well, you know what? I'm gonna put it above Frosted Flakes because I like that it's not sweet. I like that it's the one kind of kid cereal that's just not like loaded with sugar. It's just puffy rice. So, you know, for what it's worth, I'll take it. Rice Krispies is great when you're hungry and you want to eat 2,000 of something. Uh, Cinnamon Toast Crunch is the best. It's all-time best fa favorite cereal. Is it sugar? Yeah, it's it's 
as they say in the commercials, swirls of cinnamon and sugar in every bite. Does it actually? No, because you get it wet and then the things get soggy and it just becomes cinnamon sugar milk. That's all it is. However, it's still great. I will eat it all the time if I have the chance. Also, if you want to turn any of these into Rice Krispie Treats, this list changes slightly. But you still keep Cinnamon Toast Crunch at the top of that list, because Cinnamon Toast Crunch Rice Krispie Treats are amazing. Honey Nut Cheerios Rice Krispie Treats are amazing. Corn Pop Rice Krispie Treats are amazing. Fruit Loop Rice Krispie Treats are probably terrible, but I can see where they're going with it. It's probably okay. And Raisin Bran, I'm curious to know how that would go. Uh, Trix. Trix is the only one I can think of that they did not include here. And where would that be? That would be in the D tier, maybe low E tier. So, you know, for what it is. There. They also don't count Chocula, who I imagine would be in the same realm as the fake chocolate puffs over here. But that's neither here nor there. What do you think? What cereals did they miss? And which ones would you think are heinously misplaced? I look forward to hearing what you have to say. And get snacking, because there's never been a better time for cereal. I'm serious. I'm cereal. All right. Bye. Thank you for watching. My name is Maddie McLean. You can find me on problematic streaming platform Spotify at a Canadian in Eurovision. You can find me online on Twitter and Instagram at the Big Shabam. And finally, if you like what you've seen here and you want to help me out, feel free to like, subscribe. It really does help. And also, if you want to see me do something next, don't be afraid to tell me. Looking forward to hearing from you all soon, and you have a great day now.